Good afternoon, everybody. It's just me. That's Hetty slash Heather, whichever you wish to call me. Um, I'm from my normal um, Twitter, which is Alive in Me, or my Twitter that I use this app that I use this particular thing for, which is Epilepsy at Epilepsy Cures, and. Um, on that site, you can see what I'm connected to at the top right-hand corner on, on the web. Um, and, you, you know, you can get some information from there. Otherwise, you can find me also at um, www.epilepsycures.ning.com. And, um, you know, join me there. And you can post, you can start your own little site there. You can post your, you know, your own um, videos, your own blogs, um, just to chat with people who also have epilepsy or, you know, other health conditions because, you know, as I've said before, I've got quite a few different ones going on, which I know many do. You know, epilepsy seems to be one that which you don't just usually have epilepsy. Usually you have a few that come with it. Um, mine kind of came later in life. I would like to say it's old age, um, but most people say 32 isn't that old, so I don't know. My joke is always I'm 132. Um, but, you know, it's not, not to get you down. I am sitting upright today, and I'm moving about, <laughs> and, and that's because, you know, medications are not fun. You know, I, I do have quite a few bottles that I have to take. It's kind of pathetic. Every night I have to open this one, then this one, then this one, then this one, this one, and this one. And it's just like, you know, I look at my husband and I get like, this is tiring. You know, third brain surgery has never been like so exciting in my life. Um, you know, I know most people just like look at me like, you've got to be like smoking something to be like excited to have more brain taken out. But, you know, it's, it's truly a blessing and I thank God for it, you know, because I know he has amazing plans through it all. And the same thing with having epilepsy. I've been able to really reach out to people who have it um, or people who don't have it but have friends or family that have it. And it just, you know, it grasps me. And that's, you know, the blessing from it all that I thank God for, you know, if, and if that's what I have it for, then so be it. But, um, you know, there are days that sure, I mean, it can get you down because, um, I'm a driveaholic. I love to drive. It's like the thing that like absolutely calms everything. If somebody like loves to play racquetball to de-stress, I'm one who loves to get on the freeway when it's jam-packed and I just turn on my music and I look at the traffic and I look at the lights at night and I look at the, you know, skyline and I love city. Um, I'm probably one of the weirdest souls there. Anyway, I'm going to open this <laughs> with a verse from the Bible, which God knows that, you know, the skylines didn't exist back then and God looks upon it today like, what happened? So, but this is from Ephesians, um, Chapter 2, and it is, totally take it back, missed out on that one. It was chapter 3, verse 20. Now glory be to God by his mighty power at work within us. He is able to accomplish infinitely more than we would ever, ever dare to ask or hope for. You know, so as epileptics, as anyone with any illness, as just anyone in general, you know, what do we hope for? You know, God, you know, do you really, I mean, have a plan? I mean, we all get tired. We all get strung out. And a lot of the time when you get sick, it's just like, what can you possibly have? But he has such amazing plans. You know, number one, I'm still sitting here. And if you ever go to my blog, that's... Um, you know, at the top, I reposted a, this kind of um, uh, the quickest, tiniest testimony I, I could give um, <laughs> of how I found Jesus, but of how I'm still sitting here talking. Um, and that's at, you know, www. Uh, his, H I S, will, W I L L, number four. M-E dot blogspot dot com 
and there, you know, you know, you can you can find out how I'm still sitting here talking and why I'm so thankful and how even through all the circumstances that I'm going through, um, you know, you have, I have my tough days and I have that, you know, I really wish I could just not take all of these bottles of medication. But, you know, he's got a plan. And I can sit here and I can look back years back and say, man almighty, he does. Because this has gone through and that's gone through. And wow, with faith and, and the love and just trust that I have in and for him, he truly has just, you know, seen me through so much that, you know, I probably would have wiped my hands of, to be blatantly honest. But, you know, that's where he's just full of grace and mercy. Um, but anyway, I just want you guys to connect with me on Twitter um, with, with illness, um, epilepsy, friends with epilepsy. Um, like I've said, I've got many different illnesses. And there you can find me um, at the top right corner where I'm at. Um, like I said, you can go to my Ning account, and that will also show quite a few different places. And you can also mail, email me there, and um, we can discuss you know, other, other, other different ways to communicate. And I, I'm pretty much a big communicator. Um, if I get down from being just really sick, which I'm alive now from um, being just ripped apart for a while from Felbitol, um, then I kind of have my down point, but I'm alive and I'm here. So, and I, and I love to converse and I love to try to help. And I love, I have so much experience from every medication, from every circumstance pretty much with epilepsy. Um, so just, you know, come knock on my door. You can also find me on Facebook at www.facebook.com slash H-E-T-T-Y, the number four, Christ. And that's me. And um, there you can also see I on my um, normal site, my profile, I have a causes site there too that will also just show a lot of my information. So, um and on the, on the actual front, you'll see a lot of my different um, sites you can find me at. So, anyway, it's been awesome communicating with you all. It's just amazing the people that I've connected with that just throw me for a loop, that just have just amazing positive attitudes, even with all circumstances. And, you know, even... You know, I give a big round of applause to the people who are married to or, you know, related to those who have illness or epilepsy because, you know, what my husband goes through is just, you know, it's, it's a ton. And same thing with, you know, even me being the mother of my daughter who has epilepsy. And that was a killer at first. Even being one who has epilepsy, you would think it'd be way simpler. And maybe it was a little bit simpler for me than my own mom, um, because I have it. Um, but it's still hard, you know. But at least I had the knowledge when she had her first seizure that her EEG wasn't, you know, positive. It didn't show any seizure activity. So, I, you know, I just knew better not to, you know, medicate her right away at the age of two if, there's no activity showing so. So, but they wanted to just because of my history. But she went four and a half years, you know, without needing anything. So, you know, she may have them very slight today. But, you know, I'm so thankful that I didn't go by what they said. Sometimes you really have to sit back and think and pray about it. And perhaps even search out. Because, you know, there are different answers a lot of the time in the first. So, um... You know, that's, that's my big insight on that. But um, the doctor I have today that I've had since 2000, I'm so blessed with because throughout my life, I had pretty much nightmare doctors. So make sure you have the right one and never feel bad about second opinions. But God bless you all and just reach out and connect and in any way, and I will love to message you back. So I pray that you all have a great week and definitely if you're a seizure patient, a seizure-free week. God bless.